Hey everyone, and welcome back to Scrap Mechanic. I am in my dev survival world developer. I literally just loaded in, still have to put in the commands. Awesome. Oh, I love being able to hear the birds and stuff right now. It sounds so good. I love ambient sounds. Either way, um, oops, I spot that wrong. Unlimited. There we go. Okay. So, either way, the point of this video is once the sun comes up, it shouldn't be too long, I wanted to show my little gas station that I've been working on. Um, those of you that have been watching for a while will know that I've been working on a little developer world alongside the other stuff for when the next updates come out so I can kind of have a plan for what I want to do. And one thing that I was thinking, hopefully it gets right out soon. Um, either way, one thing I was thinking is a gas station that actually works. So I've come to one of the oil fields and if we go down below, I'll just cut there so you can see it. I've got an oil or a vacuum there and then it comes up through there over and into the oil silo. And then whenever that is, uh, Filling, there's a red light on there just to kind of notify and then there's a red light under the table inside to notify and then once that is full see right out now um, once that's full this will also fill up and then you can tell turn it off the switch is there and then this switch turns on gas pump as you can see gas pumps ready to go turn that off for a moment I don't know why that made it darker in here interesting Either way, um, doo -doo -doo, comes out to the gas pump, which you literally just, if the green light's on, you come out, hit the button, and it spits out fuel from the fuel silo. And of course, the uh, craft bot in there takes the oil, makes gas, puts it into the silo, or a cistern, whatever, <clears throat> and then, as I said, out to here. This one I haven't wired up yet. I plan on having that as a, um, just bear with me for a moment. I plan on having that as like a, an overfill kind of thing, an overflow. So if your truck is filled up but you don't realize and there's a big pile, you can just hit the, uh, the overflow button and it'll vacuum it up back into the silo, but I haven't figured out how I want to do that yet. Um. So really quickly, because I haven't tested this at all, I'm going to turn on the pump. And that should start filling up the silo. Oh my god, that goes fast now. And then on the back, I just have some pipes to uh, extend it. See in just a moment, it'll start going through this pipe. And then it should fill up these two, or it might even fill up this one and then that one and then go through, I'm not sure, but either way, these four are like one bank. Okay, so it fills up bank, I guess, and then it'll go through the tube up to the next one and the next one, and then we can start making some fuel. I'm going to upgrade this really quick, not much point in doing it, but... I'm going to make a bunch of fuel. And then if we go over here, we should be able to watch everything and do its thing. They sped the vacuum pipes up and they uh, vacuums themselves so much. But yeah, so that shows me that the... Uh, the fabrication works, I'll say, for refining. Um, it would be nice if we could have, like, storage sorting and sensors for how much is in something and so on, but for now, this side will automatically stop once it's full. This will stop once the, uh, the fuel is full, or it should. And then... Like I said, this just has the overflow that you kind of have to watch. 
Um, <clears throat> and then just the basic, simple layout. I haven't done too much detail yet, because I just wanted to quickly get the idea out, and then I'll add little details. Then there's a little parking spot where I just stuck the warthog, because on this map, that is in its typical location right next to where you start. And then this is literally on the other corner. So, it's a bit of a pain in the butt. So, with the whole gas station thing said, hopefully this isn't too loud and annoying. Um, I could also do like a double vacuum to build that even faster. But, with the whole gas station thing, <clears throat> I wanted a way to realistically fill my vehicles. So I figured you can use a vacuum to fill or empty gas canisters, oil canisters, whatever. Except, um, so I figured I could put a gas tank on somewhere that it would be convenient. This should be able to still have, say, a chest on on top of it. <clears throat> and still work. I'm going to put that there for now. Actually, I just want to, because of my OCD, make sure it's attached to the bed and not the gas tank. So, either way, my idea with this at the moment is, as I said, gas tank. Got a vacuum that should be that way. And then, the switch here. The gas tank drops down on a piston. Therefore, dropping the uh, the vacuum down to ground level, and then a sensor comes out that is attached to eight. So when this is on, and then the sensor uh, senses gas, the vacuum goes on, and then there's just a little delay there so that it doesn't suck stuff up as it's going out and stuff. So hopefully this should work. I'm going to turn off the oil vacuum because it is really annoying in my ear. I'm going to turn on the gas pump. <clears throat> it's on. That's just with some uh, logic gates back there. There is an AND gate there, so you need this switch and this gate to turn on. And then this is an XOR, so either of these switches here can then over can then turn the whole system on it. I like this, the pump part. Um, doo -doo -doo, and then it just goes to the lights like a... Um, bring the truck back over here and get it lined up. Little basic truck I made to get the point across. So slow. Out there. Another nice thing is the, uh, the little quote unquote gas cap here helps line up. So we go like that. That's a little too far, so I need to bring the truck closer. I'm going to turn up the engine. I'm going to get this lined up and then I will be right back. Okay, that should be good. I think I forgot to power that wheel or it's... No, it's backwards. That's why it's being... Okay, there we go. Um, either way, I will open this because you always put a thingy in your car first. <clears throat> and then let's see if this works. It didn't. Is it not going to take out through the whole system? I have a feeling it's not going to take out from the entire system, so I'm going to turn this off to put the... oops, there was 40, so I'll just do 40, and then let's try this again. Oh, I'm probably... I need the... no! That stores it as gas. I'm not sure. See, I wasn't expecting this to happen. We're learning. Um, I'm kind of confused. I'm going to take out the bottom 
couple. <clears throat> and then I will uh, link them back up with some pipe. Tubies! Tube! No, vacuum. Vacuum tube. Vacuum pipe. Alright, so we will connect this up. I will put some gas only hither. Got a lot in my inventory. Um Yes. That should be around here somewhere. There it is. 40. Okay, now let's try. No. Um. This is interesting. This isn't what I was expecting to happen. I thought you could do this. What if I use a, um, a water thingy, the squirty thingy, water cannon. Some more gas in here. Actually, is that the one that had gas in it? I don't know. Little bit of gas. I probably put 200 by accident. Active, get a button. Okay, what happens if I do this? Nothing. What happens? Vacuum. I should still have that. Nope, I got rid of that. Vacuum. Interesting. I'm gonna try turning off these. No, interesting. Okay. <clears throat> well, we now know that my idea isn't quite going to work, but if it did, it would. This would still work for probably water or oil or something. Things that you can eject from the thingies, chests. I can't see this not working. But for now, this apparently won't work. So hopefully they'll implement some way that this will work. But for now, I guess I'll just do this the old way. Yeah, either way. Uh, just one of the little ideas I've been working on for the next survival series. Um, I'll probably end up doing it the exact same way it is here. Just manually transfer the gas for now. Because I like how it looks. It looks cool. And within game... Or I'll say in technicalities it should work but it doesn't so either way if you have any ideas please let me know Great, uh, constructive criticism is always welcome as long as you're nice uh, do, do ideas blah 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 let me know um, any questions feel free to ask and yeah I upload videos every week on Scrap Mechanic, usually Mondays, and then I do community builds on Fridays. I try to do them Fridays, usually it's up on like Saturday or something, but whatever. Either way, usually two Scrap Mechanic videos a week, so if you like Scrap Mechanic as much as I do, consider subscribing, and if you want to really support me, consider becoming a Patreon, and you get access to all of my blueprints. I just realized I didn't lose all my blueprints, they're on there! There's a bit of a backstory to that, but either way, I hope you enjoyed. And thanks for watching.